Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently Indian Air Force has released a request for information for medium transport aircraft or MTA. The Air Force has requested OEMs to forward information on their products which they can offer as a part of parameters and specifications listed in RFI. The MTA would be used for various roles of transport aircraft between 18 to 30 ton of cargo carrying capacity. The Air Force has requested for the price of a batch of 40, 60 and 80 aircraft. This indicates that Air Force is willing to purchase maximum 80 such aircrafts and the delivery of these aircrafts are expected to commence from three years after signing of the contract. Now for this requirement of Air Force, there are multiple contenders such as Airbus A400M and Embraer C390 Millennium. We have already discussed about Airbus A400M in detail and today we will discuss about Embraer C390 aircraft and its offering for the Indian Air Force. Embraer has showcased its C390 Millennium military multi-mission tactical air transport aircraft on static display at Aero India 2023. In the year 2022, it was reported that Brazilian aircraft manufacturer has revealed that it is in talks with Indian authorities regarding its C390 Millennium offering. Jackson Snyder, the president and CEO of Embraer Defense and Security, told Financial Express Online that in the C390, we are absolutely sure that it is the right product for India. In India, to be candid, we are at the beginning of process with Indian authorities and we believe with the right Indian partner and right approach, we will be able to deliver for India the best solution, even integrating in the plain Indian products, capacities and capabilities. He also added that we are absolutely open to integrate in the plain Indian solutions, not only for India, but for other countries as well. As per reports from the Live Mint, Embraer is in talks with India's Tata and Mahindra groups, amongst the other, for an aircraft manufacturing partnership as the world's third largest passenger jet is looking to expand its India foothold. The company's defense and security president and CEO, Bosco Costa Jr., said, We are in touch with several potential partners such as Tata and Mahindra and other companies as well. We will not take so long. I do believe somewhere in the end of this year, we are going to decide what kind of partner we are going to be with. Embraer, which has also showcased its C390 Millennium multi-mission tactical air transport aircraft at Aero India 2023 in Bengaluru and has pitched the same aircraft for Indian Air Force requirement of medium transport aircraft MTA. Now, if we look at the Indian Air Force inventory, at present it operates three Netra AWNCs, which is based on Embraer ERG-145 platform. Air Force also operates Embraer's legacy 600 jets for transportation of government officials and VIPs. Indian Air Force is currently operating six Illusion IL-78 equipped with Israel fuel transfer system. These refuelers were inducted back in the year 2003, almost 19 years ago. Embraer C390 Millennium can act as a refueler as well as transport aircraft. This multi-mission aircraft can be quickly configured for aerial refueling as both a tanker and a receiver aircraft. Day and night aerial refueling is made possible with the observer windows and night vision cameras. The C390, as we know, is the crown jewel of Embraer as it is the largest, heaviest and most complex military aircraft designed and developed and produced by the company. It falls in the category of medium lift platform with maximum takeoff weight of 86,999 kg. The C390 is the most modern next generation military tactical transport aircraft and its multi-mission platform offers an unbeatable combination of both low operating cost and fast turnaround. The aircraft can carry more cargo, which is 26 tons compared to other medium-sized military cargo aircraft and flies faster at 470 knots and further on a standard crew duty day. It can carry a variety of payloads such as 80 troops, 74 stretchers and 8 attendants, 64 paratroopers, 6 463-litre master pallets and 36 troops. 
it can achieve a range of 5820 kilometers with 1400 kg of payload the c390 piloting is facilitated by an integrated avionics system and a fly by wire flight control and it can be equipped with a self defense system and ballistic protection which increases its capacity to operate in hostile environment the aircraft can carry wide range of missions using same platform including air to air refueling for fixed and rotary aircrafts airborne operations troop and cargo transportation humanitarian missions medical evacuation fire fighting search and rescue with simple and rapid reconfiguration between different configurations using conversion kits and state of art built in reconfigurable cargo floor system the aircraft has been designed to operate on semi prepared or damaged runway as well as in hostile environments ranging from hot and humid to cold and dry conditions since it has entered into service with brazilian air force or fab in 2019 The C390 has proven its capability, reliability and performance across a variety of missions. FAB's fleet of 5 aircraft, all refueling versions are designated KC390. K denotes the air to air refueling capability. They have achieved more than 7500 flying hours and recent numbers have shown a mission completion rate of 99% demonstrating outstanding productivity in its category. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.